Elmo, catch a witcher by the Ooh, toe. someone's if torn it down. Go, run away and don't the gods be have heard the land's cry. Its people's long wait is over. Mommy says hello. King Radovid will save the north. Guess whoever tore it didn't believe so. Well, I guess, um... Uh, we should head back to Zoltan now, or maybe the other people who needed help? Yeah, actually. Silver Sword Upgrade Diagram. This one... I'm guessing it's just looking for like a chest or something, right? So we can probably do that, even though it's level 23. Yeah, it's fairly close by. Odd though he is, girls can't seem to look away. Oh, we're back here. Uh, are we? No, I thought we were back at the location where we murdered a whole bunch of people just now. Oh, nope. Merchant? My wife won't believe me when I tell Greetings. her. Greetings. At your service. A lot of you guys have glasses. Show me your wares. You don't really have anything. No. Okay. Whatever. So long. There's also an inn here. Have we been to this My inn? Wife won't oh. believe me when I tell her. I've had enough and strength's gone. Does this inn have a look, look. the nowhere? Oh, we're back to the nowhere inn. What the heck? <laughs> All roads lead back to not the Passiflora, but the nowhere inn. I have no idea what the oh. land in this place is like. Novigrad is so big. Nothing. It's actually just <laughs> kind of insane. <laughs> I don't recognize any of these places at all. Oh. I suspect it's gonna be a while since I leaving. before I actually do. Welcome! What can I get the honorable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, but they'll be the same size. You merchant? Gwent? Fine. Show me what you got. So what don't I got? <laughs> Something for everyone, seek and you shall find. Cheap too. Do you want to maybe, like, clean up your face a little bit? Saddlebags... Casket? <laughs> okay, you just have a bunch of crap. Do you want more crap? I could give you some crap. Rotting flesh? How about that? There you go, increase your stock a little bit. Razor... No, I'm guessing your prices aren't gonna be too good because you're pretty poor, aren't you? Okay, goodbye. Thanks. Come again! Cheap as it gets right here! Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Look, look. The eternal fire Another merchant here. Or son. The woman once, long ago. I was willing to give me right oh, it's inside. What I don't got me fucking right hand no more. That's what. Slap a new race ticks. You're a bigger rat picker than me. What is it, grey boy? Looking for adventure? Whoa, look at their tattoos. It's on their entire body. What a smack. Dum, 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 oh. dum, 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 a loan shark? Hello? Oh. Are you related to Horasan? Greetings. What have you got to pawn? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Been a lone shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> that's... that's kind of morbid. Show me what you have in stock. The previous owner died, and then you just kind of took over. Well, that's kind of nice in a way, too. Change your life, a handbook. Oh. Okay. So long. What is that, I wonder? I want to read it, but I also want to find where the diagram is. It seems like it should be around here, but... Oh, we can't get in here. Hmm. It's inside. It's inside this little maze thingy. How do we get to the back portion? Do we have to like walk over here and then go back here like that? I guess I could give that a try. Or... Oh! What about here? Nope, that's locked. Okay. 
Well, I'm not gonna fret too much about it, but I just wanna see if it's possible for us to... Oh no, there's a wall! I think even if we get around this, there's gonna be a wall blocking us. We'll see. And I haven't forgotten about the book. I'm gonna read it as soon as I try this out. And remember, never venture into the bits alone. Yeah. Always take a partner. I've been here, I think. No. Dum, da, dum, 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 if I just dum, keep going dum, down. And hungry. Oh, it's one of the people pouring their poop and pee down on the roads. Oh my god! Barber. Woo! Get out of there. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Oh no, we did make it here. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just back here. Uh oh. Hold up. Hold up. There's a freaking ladder here. That seems suspicious. Maybe we can infiltrate into the Lone Shark's place, huh? Via another entrance. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Okay, hold on. It's so close. The thing is so close. The marker. But it's not here. Have we been to here before? This seems like such a hidden house. I feel like I've robbed these people before, though. Haven't I? Oh! Wow, that's really random. Why is it in some random house? These people should be selling the diagram. It's worth a fortune, isn't it? Well, we got that figured out. Okay, awesome. I walked around in a big loop for no reason. Help, save me. Okay. Now, we can go to... The contract, an elusive thief, and then finally, after that, take that away, go back to Zoltan. After a long day at work. I'm not sure if Zoltan made any progress on finding out where Dandelion is. I mean, did we make any progress? We've got a description of women from the women that we've talked to. Is it all pointing at the same women? I'm not sure. Something about a blonde, Cantarella, Kovir-y accent. Kovir, more like Horvir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. In the marketplace here. Excuse me. Who is looking for a witcher? You, Sylvester. Greetings, master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? Ha ha ha. You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. I don't think you're kidding at all. Yeah, imps are real. All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Are imps intelligent? I seem to remember them being intelligent. Hmm, not sure if we'll kill it, but yeah. Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supply is low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. You're a Novigrad person. Come on, you can afford a little bit more. That much? <laughs> Surely you jest, sir. Oh, come on, buddy. Halfway? I'm willing to meet you halfway. A little bit less than half. A bit much, but a compromise is in sight. What happens when they're too annoyed? Fine negotiation on your part, master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. So stingy. I think you're the stingiest person I've met so far in terms of the negotiation. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. 
I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Okay. An elusive thief. Should we do that right now? The thinking I feel like there was something else around here I wanted to do. No? I guess not. Okay, let's look for the imp. This side of the ponta. Which wall? Why buy tomorrow, this wall. You can buy That's tomorrow. a really big print. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. My impression of an imp is that they're really small. That's... That's huge. Come now, I'm nothing. In the city, too. <coughs> Raw daylight. Uh... Oh. Alright. No, I get the feeling that imps are... Well, impish. So we should be careful. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Went this way. Ooh. Those are scratch marks. What the heck? Hey, pretty boy. What do I gotta do to get out? Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. Oh, you can see it. On the bottom there. Could I just go down? Whoa! Kind of worked out. Oh. Doors wide open. Interesting. Do they live here? Check other stuff. Ooh. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Yeah. I don't kill intelligent things, right? Oh, yes, the other book. Jan, please, cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise, but a giant cat will tend to stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other, safer form like I did? Mmm! I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now, and no one's batted an eye. And such earnings! You won't need to steal anymore, so how'll it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word for you with the King of Beggars. Till our next writing. Lewis. P.S. Burn this letter once you've read it, alright? P.P.S. Yes, yes, I know, I'm paranoid, but humor me and burn it. P.P.P.S. If I find this letter next time I come see you, you owe me a beer. Ah, uh, so it might not be an imp. This might be... a Doppler. Okay, change your life, a handbook. And so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a libertine and brawler and extraordinaire, from Nazare, with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zeracania, used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore, the raft I had strapped together, out of an old boot, bits of strap, and a burst barrel, had taken on so much water that two L's more, and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood on dry land, and that was all that mattered. With not a living soul in sight, and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily, the juice nearly poured out of my ears, and then I began to gather wood, with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. It was then I came upon the strange plant that would change my life till the end of my days. Ignorant of its value at this time, I frivolously used it for kindling. Yet as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, it's a drug, isn't it? <laughs> I felt light and the coastal breeze whisked all my troubles away. I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching this miraculous weed and its properties, as a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of anyone who puts it into practice. Here is how to begin. This sounds like a weird hallucinogenic drug. Okay, but no, back to the Doppler here. A Doppler explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. That means when we run into the Doppler, they might not look like a giant cat. Especially if they know that someone's after them. Clearly, they've been making a living for themselves here. They got a nice little... Is that a couch? Oh my god, that's like the first time we've seen a couch here. It's like a bed couch. Ooh. Just taking all their stuff anyway. They got a lot of stuff. Smoking pipes. Ooh, they've changed out. 
A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. Yeah, if we didn't know that they were a Doppler, this mess of clothing would be really confusing. Here we go. Lavender. Back outside? A fine kettle of rancid fish. Hmm. They're completely mingling with the peasants. Wait, who am I looking at? If anything happens to you, we go hungry. Is it the elf? Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Ah! Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. They're Dopplers, right? Both of them. <laughs> nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. Wow. <sighs> Always the same old shit. That was fast. Hey, wait. Only one kleptomaniac's allowed here, and it's not you. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Oh. Damn, I look old. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fight? Oh, dang. What kind of fight will this be? Oh, he can use my skills as well. That kind of makes Dopplers really scary. I should probably use Quinn a little more. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a Witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. That's really scary, too. Hm. Glad to make an exception in your case? Draw your weapon? Is that killing it? No. Don't kill it. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. I might not be the one to kill you, but we've seen them burn Dopplers at the the square. Whoa, 200 crowns. And now we can even go back to the guy at the mer the it's merchant cold. to get another reward, huh? Dang. What about the other one? There were two Dopplers. Guess we don't care. Hey, you better not be here. You better be leaving. He's built up a nice home, though. Who am I to tell him to leave here? Uh, uh, got pissed like a racehorse. Okay. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> That's in the marketplace. Oh. Oh, are you begging for food? Oh, refugee and not Let's allowed in go here. Kill some they all, I never let your kind in, no regret. I was just wondering how close to the the fast travel marker the merchant was, but they're really close. Uh. Hopefully they'll actually leave, but I mean, if I were him, I still need to make a living. What's your need of, mate? It's Herbs. not safe to go out on the street. To rid me mouth of a horrible stench. Oh, oh, I thought the I thought the guards were like taking the the old lady here. Oh my god, go arrest the shady individual. There's so many of them. Greetings, master. Problem solved. 
convinced the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. You don't have to say that part. Then how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so <laughs> hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more. And I'll not do business with you again. Oh, all you had to do was just say that... Just say that it's done. Gave too many details. Greetings, master. Well, I wasn't gonna get paid twice for that, was I? That's fine. Okay. Are we finally ready to head back to Zoltan? To talk about our findings here? I think so. It's right here. What's this? Another contract. Right around our level, too. That's good. But uh, we'll go to Zoltan first. So many things going on here. Glory Lane. Am I allowed to loot this? I should be careful. One of these days, all the looting's gonna get me into trouble. Milfgaard arrived there just before winter. Black wounds didn't do no harm. How are you keeping, Bobby? Miss your Sultan, you old bun? Oh! What's this? Haven't even drunk her water? Naughty bird. Now repeat. Save Ray Crackers. Pepper wasn't here last time, was it? What's wrong with its head? How come it's like... Where is its eyes? It's like wearing a little... A little hat. Hey, Zoltan. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She had to start talking any day now. <laughs> Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? How'd you do? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. He'd not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines of dubious worth. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a lass studying natural history? Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenfurt Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. Made us stay for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. What? I don't know about human woman, but that would bore a dwarven lass to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. But yeah, he, he sounds a little off. I thought he was a total Casanova. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Uh. Interesting image. <laughs> so how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Sounds lovely. A night of poetry. Why not? Why not? 
Zoltan. Get out! Saw burning pyres when I arrived in Novigrad. Yes, Felicia Cori, a sorceress that was. The crowd came for the other bun that day. A Doppler, crafty wee bugger who'd spent years masquerading as Chappelle, commander of the Temple Guard. It was Caleb Menge who exposed him, executed him, and promptly took his post. Met that Doppler years ago, just after he'd assumed Chappelle's identity and form. Wasn't all that surprised when the Church of the Eternal Fire turned Toller into freaks, opened up a bit to magic and mages? Uh, well, that's all changed now. Every mage who came here seeking refuge is now caught in a trap. Oh, yeah, that's a really big problem. The sorceresses came to the free city looking for a place to be, but now that's not really the case anymore. Like Triss. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Yeah, if you're really in need of financial assistance, just let me know, okay? Because I'm, I'm doing okay. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Let's play. Zoltan was like the first person I played dice poker with back in Witcher 1. It's been so long. Yeah, I don't got anything useful here, do I? Okay, let's go. Scoyatel. He uses Perk to go first. Okay, Decoy, Biting Frost, Commander's Horn, Blue Stripes, Blue Stripes, Crinfrid, Trebuchet, Ballista, Dragon, Catapult. Wish I had a few more spies. Biting Frost might be useful here because Scoyatel. Yeah, might want to keep that. Crinfrid? Wanna chance it with the Trebuchet? What did I get? Impenetrable Fog. Mmm. Biting Frost or Impenetrable Fog? One, not both. Ooh, Vernon Roach. Not a bad trade. Yeah, the thing is, we don't know if he's gonna use the melee or the ranged row. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? We can decoy with a catapult. If they have a spy card though, I would really love to decoy that. So I'm gonna hold off on the decoy. What am I willing to lose here? I have a commander's horn. Hmm. Not liking my deck this time. No. Not really. My hand, I should say. Want to use Biting Frost now to discourage them? <laughs> well, I mean, mm, yeah. Well. Want to give up now? Do I want to give up? Mm. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll pass. 8 and 8. Not looking too good for us. Now we have to win. Yep, just do blue stripes. Oh my god, of course that deck is gonna be like the monster deck. Jeez. Oh! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just do blue stripes. Yeah. Hmm. I'm actually at a little bit of a disadvantage because... Yeah. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I could have recalled the blue stripes, the one blue stripes, and then put down the dragon to destroy their cards so that it would be 7-0. to zero. That would save me some cards here. Mm, I've made a bit of a mistake. Hopefully we'll be okay. Another decoy card. Oh, but that's really useless on the last turn. Dang, man. We just gotta hope that it's gonna be okay. At least we know they don't have a Scorch card. 
We have very few number cards. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Okay. Ha! Ha, you can't do anything to me. Because Vernon is a hero. Torrential rain. That's fine. Probably I want to put Commander's Horn on this row, right? Because it doesn't affect Vernon. Oh, are we gonna be okay? I wonder. That mistake might have cost me. Hmm. Oh, but now I can take it away with the dragon. Okay, not bad. Zero. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's horrible. Okay, well, I still have clear weather. Oh! Who else is back? 27, 38? I might still be okay. Out of curiosity though, is it possible to decoy a commander's horn? No. No. On the battlefield only. Well, I gotta pass. Am I gonna be okay? Yes. Oh! That's a close one. Yeah. If I didn't make the mistake, wouldn't be as close. Seems I won. A right fucking shock given your frankly amateur dick. <laughs> Here, take this card. You need it. Thanks. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Roach! He's around here? Went, old pals. Oh! Roach is in Novigrad somewhere too, huh? Okay. Where'd he go? Gwent old pals. Vernon Roach! Where is he out of curiosity? What? Where is he? He's all the way here! That's such a random location to be at, what the heck? Well, I'm glad to know that Vernon's around here somewhere. I just noticed that we have this Avdarian Darkness level 9 quest though. Maybe we should get rid of that soon. Oh, hold on. This is the this is the quest about that sorcerer. Wait, is this related to the one with the statue, or was this the sorcerer who died and then the the merchant was selling his stuff? Oh, I might have remembered wrong. Where is this one? Where is this one? It's actually all the way out there. What? That's crazy. Okay, but it is the lowest level quest we have, so I think we should go there. Hmm. Why not? Let's go to... Maybe let's go to the Gate of Hierarch, and then we will fast travel to the Novigrad Gate, and I guess we'll be stepping away from Novigrad for a sec to hunt down this guy's residence. Okay. All right. Well, Zoltan. Oh, you gave me a hero card for the Skoyatel. Nice, but I'm not really playing for the Skoyatel right now. No. Put it here. Yeah. Oh, what about Priscilla? Where is she? Is she... she's at the... Um, an inn? Meet Zoltan in the Kingfisher Inn after sundown. Okay, cool. I will definitely return to that. But for now, I gotta go find a fast travel point. We're here. Eternal fire protects us. Turned all the These easy to find witches kids. already. And I could use a quickie. And we'll be going back to Oxenford. Right here. Ooh. Vernon's kinda close by after that as well. And the scavenger hunt. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime. I don't think we've ever been past this gate before, because I remember distinctly thinking, Oh, it seems like we're gonna go somewhere completely new now, into the wilderness, so let's save that for later. Mm -hmm, it's gonna be our first time Beware, making our way beyond here. For you know neither the day nor the hour. What, of my death or what? <laughs> Refugees? I 
I think we have seen these little parts. Well, you know we haven't been here because I haven't looted it yet. <laughs> Refugees are camping outside Oxenford because... Does Oxenford bar people from going in there? I think so, because didn't we also need a permit to come here? I don't remember actually having to use it, but yeah. And this time we'll be going off to Aramis's residence. Aramis is the, the sorceress who died and... Oh, the sorcerer. <laughs> hmm. Supposedly, since he's a sorcerer and has all sorts of weird valuable stuff, this should be an interesting trip. I'm not sure why the quest is called Of Dairy and Darkness, though. Sounds kind of milk or cheese related. How far are we? No, we're actually quite far. 300 steps. We should use Roach. It's been so long! Oh my god, because we've been in Novigrad for a while. I completely forgot that, you know, riding a horse is a thing. <laughs> we're not going along the main path, though. Is that okay? I think so. Yep. Oh, there was sort of a thing near... No, 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 we can't do that. <laughs> but out of curiosity... Can I turn this on? Wait, hey, 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 no, no. Take me back over here. God, how far is this map? Over here. And then I wanted to look at it. Do I click on this? Yes. Mm, that's what I thought. I thought I might have seen something in the distance. Oh, um, why not? It's along the way. It's along the way. You know what? Actually. Actually. Since I'm planning on visiting Roach after this, not my horse, the guy, who is somewhere up here, it's probably better if we go to this one. Like, if we go from here to here, and then here, and then we go up here. Yeah? Sound like a plan? Seems kind of dark and dangerous here. I don't like it. Oh, that's a rock. How you like that silver? Just Neckers. We don't have to blow anything up, though, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Whoa! Persons in distress. Sounds like a worthy cause to me. Kill if you love the gods. Go for the horse son's eyes. Oh. I'm about to get you. That's one. Who's in this dress here? I see that one person in the, the cage. Oh. Oh my god. There's a key. And there's one more corpse here. Hello? Oh. If you even think to help elves in these times, I'd be amiss not to reward you, Vatgan. Find me in the camp nearby. I shall have something for you. Oh, you're an elf. Okay. If you even think to help elves in these times, I'd be amiss not to reward you, Vatgan. Find me in the camp nearby. I shall have something for you. Can I follow you right now? Is that a thing? Bandit's notes. Something about how, oh, me choosing to be a bandit was a good thing after all. Look at all these riches I'm getting. They say you can't catch an elf in the woods. Oh, you can, in fact. You just gotta try real hard. We've got living proof in our camp. A Skoyatel archer. I thought we'd eliminated all those vermin after the last Nilfgaard war, but it seems we missed some. I'd rather hang the long ears right off. Well, maybe after a couple of days of torture. But still, hanging's what he needs. Thing is, Kula says, as long as we have him alive and in our camp, the other squirrels won't attack us. Out of fear, we'll kill him before they can stop us. I listened to his advice, and so far, I don't regret it. Used to be an arrow to come in flying towards your ass every two steps, now it's dead quiet. That elf stays calm, doesn't eat much, and when you get some vodka in him, he even sings in that language of theirs. Pretty good, too. Bloody Dwan Espera Evelyn, or something like that. Must be about flowers, sunshine, they love that shite. <laughs> well, Dwan is human, <laughs> probably not saying any nice things about you. No, but they are very calm, aren't they? Elves do seem like a um, very beautiful race. They only have four people here, though, so I feel like if the Skoyatel really wanted to take the elf back, they could. Very easily. Hey! Did you walk off already? 
Which way did you go? Where is your camp? <laughs> I don't know where your camp is. There is no camp here. Ooh, how come this section is weirdly colored? That's weird. Okay, I mean, well, yeah. Oh well. We'll <laughs> maybe we'll bump into the the elf some other time. I should have followed him immediately, but he he walked a little bit too fast. I wasn't expecting him to walk that fast. Yeah, I don't wanna. Don't think I should be going there. Okay, Roach, let's head to Aramis's residence. Through the woods. It's actually strangely quiet for being in the woods today. Mm -hmm. Usually there's a whole bunch of wolves and whatnot. Oh my god, might have spoken too soon. And Drega warriors. That's fine. I'm not here to pick a fight. So don't pick a fight with me. Oh, we might be here already. Come on now. Ooh. What happened to his house? The guy himself was burnt at the pyre, right? But his house seems like... Well, it must have been pillaged because that merchant was selling his stuff. Oh. Seemed kind of rich by the looks of it. A house in the countryside? Oh my god. Okay, maybe... Maybe not. That looks in <laughs> House is completely destroyed, but the magic circle's intact. Looks to me like a locked portal. Wonder if I can open it using one of Aramis's items. That seems kind of dangerous. Could we look around a little bit more first? I don't really want to um, mess with the spirits. Yeah, there is a chest here. Oh, enhanced feline armor. Oh? The mage Aramis's last journal entry. Hunters have stalked my house for days. I knew they would come eventually, of course. That pungent Limburger's vision was all too clear. But I must risk it and stay a few more days. The cheeses have entered an intensely fascinating stage of maturity, and transporting them is entirely out of the question. I have worked on this recipe for 40 years, and I would rather die than abandon it now. In the event that I am unable to divine the time and nature of the hunter's attack, I bequeath my most valuable treasure to whatever brave adventurer will be able to find it. May this reward inspire him to continue my work and stand on the shoulders of giants of Tyromancy. <laughs> Joffrey Munster, Avex View Balone, and last but not least, the Baron of Blue, Eric Stilton. Ah, well, we read that book in the bookshop. We know what Tyromancy is. It's cheese divination. So when you read this paragraph, it's like, ooh, what kind of what kind of crazy treasure does this guy have? But it turns out it's cheese. It mentions it up here as well. It's just cheese. <laughs> hey, but hey, I'm I'm interested in tyromancy. Please, let's try to figure this out. Okay. Whoa! <gasps> <sighs> Reeks in here. This is a little bit scary. That stench. Ripe cheese. Seems Aramis was a tyromancer. <gasps> this is exciting. We're actually getting a follow-up to learning more about tyromancy. Oh my god. We haven't seen a cave this elaborate since the, um, the very first cave that we went to with Kira in Finding the Wild Hunt. <laughs> this is fancy. What are all these statues? Oh, ancient tyromancers! Look, they're all holding cheese! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, whoa, there's like cheese. <coughs> oh. What did he make this cheese out of? Necker milk? Need to be careful. Oh, these gases are kind of poisonous. Hmm. The other day. Um, a viewer came up to me and told me that they have a cheese phobia and that they had trouble watching the part when I was reading that cheese book. Um, I feel like they'll have trouble watching this part as well. <laughs> Apologies in advance. Oh my god. <coughs> do we just navigate this or what are we trying to do here? Can I just run through? 
Oh my god. Whoa, but the- my breath. When I go across the really stinky cheeses, it goes really fast. Can I turn that on? Yes. <coughs> There's something in there? Okay, what am I trying to reach exactly? This? I mean, it could be. Can you try it out? I'm not sure if we were supposed to walk in a specific pattern or what, but I just kind of brute forced it. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of... Um, a lot of Tyromancers. Oh. Might as well. You know, get all festive in here, right? And it's actually quite My dark, so... trial of the cheeses. Vesemir will get a kick out of this when I tell him. Not sure this can get any worse. Worse? This is great! But we need to get a cheese, okay? We need to come up with a block or something, because otherwise, why are we doing all of this? At least get our fortune read by cheese, okay? We need something to show for it. No cheesy monsters? Okay. Oh, this looks strangely- it looks exactly like the other cave, doesn't it? The layout, the one with the four statues here. Oh. Oh my god. Are we getting anywhere? What is going on? There's nothing. No monsters. No signs. What do they do with the cheese here? Do they make the cheese? Do they store the cheese? Or do they just... come and chill out and... talk about the future with the cheese? <laughs> it's actually quite an elaborate cave. Um... Swimming? Really? Okay. It's quite dark. Can't see very well. Oh, I can't see at all, and I'm I've been turned around. Where am I? I need to get back up first, because I can't see anything. Hold on. Okay, I came from this way, you know, because of the light. So if I go down here. Uh I'm following the mini-map, but I actually can't see anything right now. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going someplace nice. Okay. I can't say I know where we are. Doesn't seem like a place that people go to often. There's tons of mold and whatever here. Hey, can I get up on shore? No? Sort of stuck here. Here we go. Oh. I thought there were two different paths. Like, one where we could just walk over, and the other we had to swim over. Oh, we can't see. Hmm. We're quite far away from the initial mansion. Should probably ignite all of this. Hello? Cheese leaves? No. <laughs> uh, see, there's multiple ways here as well. Oh, but there's light there. I think we've been there, probably. We came from that side? Oh, hold on. Oh my god. It's a cheesy lab, isn't it? They make the cheese here. There are no golems or anything, though, are there? Because <laughs> that's what sorcerers like to have in their labs. Oh, look at that. Oh, what the heck? Why is there a dead wolf in here? Gotta share this discovery with Lambert. Foglets are immune to the smell of old cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Environmentally unfriendly. Oh god, god, lord, lord. Oh! I'm not prepared coming in here. No, I need to concentrate. 
telling me to come over. Mm. Is that it? Yeah, foglets always appear to come in. They seem like they come in packs, but it's really just one. Oh, that was scary. I only had one swallow potion left. Let's uh, let's change that because I'm not comfortable with this at all. No. Okay. What in the world is that? What? What are they doing to that guy? Why is there a burnt dead guy here with cheese and... I thought this was just a cool cheese lab, but what? Like, are they feeding? Are they force feeding this guy cheese? Oh my god. Oh my god. Water. Yeah, these are all crucial ingredients in cheese making. Bull figurine. Aramis's notes. The vision stabilized, and, lo and behold, I saw as if through a moonlit haze the four princes, each clad in armor and astride a horse. The first rode a steed, the color of fog, the second of sulfur, the third black as the abyss, and the fourth, a pony. Pony is not a color. <laughs> and then I beheld a fountain, a clear spring, but the princes did not drink of it, for it was forbidden. And then a bird of paradise, shining in ruby and gold, flew above them and alit upon the branch of a tree. And the tree had arms numbering a thousand and forty. Draw from the source, said the bird. But they pointed to the sun's bloody tears, and did not draw. And then a pure virgin appeared, with bared breast, exposing her modest bosoms, ruddy and firm like ripe linden berries. Then my nose became accustomed to the aroma, and the vision passed. Tomorrow, I shall try to unseal that well-aged sample from Geno Myvort. It is said to have a refined, deep scent, with slightly nutty aftertastes. Well, we shall see. Uh, I don't think the cheese is the one with a slightly nutty aftertaste here. <laughs> oh, wow. He, this guy had a vision on how to make cheese. He slept here! Look at the shell of cheeses! Whoa! Smoking pipe. We discovered his lab, but what's our reward? Our true reward? The knowledge that we gained? No! What's our physical reward? Whoa! Is that a dead cow? Oh my god. What the heck? Was he- An illusion. Oh. Where does that go? Oh, it's where he hides his cheeses, huh? No! Actual money. Where are the cheeses? Enhanced dragon's dream. Superior vampire oil. Okay, these are all nice and all, but where's the cheese? That's what I came here for, right? Like, where's my reward? I don't want this crap. Oh! Some kind of vault. I should look around. Of course, we're not done yet. No. Magic barrier still active. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Oh my god. Nahalani's eye. Ought to use it. Oh, interesting. This spot doesn't even show on the minimap. Oh, because it's not. There's no cave here. It's a very small little spot. What is that? Oh, do you want me to. Igni? Art? Or maybe, I think it was supposed to be Igni. Deactivated the barrier. Oh! I didn't even see. Okay, I see a very prestigious looking statue here. Of a man and a dog and his cheese. What about the other places? Oh, another one? How come I didn't need to use this one? Is it fake? What is 
this? It's like the famous thinking statue, but with like a cheese or something. Snake figurine. We've come across a lot of these figurines. Are they actually gonna come together into something? I don't know, because I feel like I've... At the very minimum... Where are they? Quest items? Lizard figurine? Bull figurine? And now we got the snake figurine. I don't know where it is, but... I got it. Oh. Oh, but this one's not a quest item. Or... Not. <laughs> I don't know why they're in separate places. If this sword is as deadly as Aramus's cheeses, it's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it... The Emmentaler. Emmentaler? What does that mean? And that's it. Emmentaler. No, oh, but no, 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 not this one. Not this one. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's only slightly worse than what I have. If we, if we put some stuff on it, maybe it'll be pretty good. Mm, fire damage increase. Well, I mean, no matter what happens, I'm not selling it. I'm gonna keep this for sure. They're the same level. Mm hmm. Oh, Emmons Holler. Does that mean anything? Hold on. Let me look it up. Emmons Holler. Oh, there's a Swiss cheese called Emmental or Emmentaler or Emmental. Oh, interesting. Wow. I thought. <laughs> Wait, we actually got a weapon out of this. How ridiculous is that? Because where would that even come from? His research was all about cheese. <laughs> Where'd the sword come into the equation? I wonder if any of the divinations came to be true. Four princes? Maybe we should try to keep it in the back of our mind. How do we best get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Ah, here we go. Oh, lovely. It's raining. Fresh air, finally. Non-cheesy, stinky air? Oh. Well, um, Aramis, I found your sword. I will take good care of it. It will go straight into my stash. <laughs> to ensure that nothing ever happens to it, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Very interesting little adventure. Too bad the merchant wasn't here. Maybe if we go back to him, we can tell him about what we found here. I wonder what, what artifact we actually used to open the portal, though. I don't know, because we bought a whole bunch of stuff from that guy at the same time. Okay. Now that that's dealt with, we should... Um, fencing lessons. Weren't we supposed to go back tomorrow? Not right now. But if we look on the map, Vernon Roach is fairly close to us. <laughs> fairly? You know, sort of. Yeah, so we're just gonna head off here. And then head straight over to the cat school gear? Why not? I would rather it not be raining, but hey, what can we do? Aramis's abandoned manor. Peasants living nearby often complain about the overwhelming cheese stench wafting out of this residence. <laughs> and that's not gonna go away even though he died, because all the cheeses are still there. <laughs> Poor neighbors. They should come take them. The merchant should have taken it. I bet you could sell the cheese for quite a bit for some cheese connoisseurs or something. 